What's good? What it do? It's Deuce for well. Come join the crew. Now you feel me? Y'all, I'm in this parking lot real quick. And I feel like um, I got some time on my hands real quick to do this video before I go up in this store before it closes on me, okay? So, y'all, um, this going to be 39 questions of uh, basically of, on me. Whatever type of questions that I wrote down, I forgot what I wrote down. So, I had this paper for a minute now, all right? But this is just some uh, random questions, you know what I'm saying? I call it 39 Secrets About Nice, all right? So, um, if y'all can like, comment, and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Scroll down. Don't forget to hit that bell, you know what I'm saying? We just gonna get right into this video. If y'all like what y'all see, don't be afraid to let me know how it is, you feel me? But let's get right into this motherfucking video. All right, y'all, let's get it. So, question number one. When was the last time I kissed? My last kiss was about a couple days ago, actually. I ain't gonna lie. Do I have a best friend? Yes, I was just with my best friend. Uh, we just actually made a video. We got a video coming soon. 420 special, you hear me? Um, yeah, Taja. Who was my last call to? My last call was uh, to my grandma, but she ain't answer, so. All right, my last text message. My last text message was to my baby brother, Baby Dre. Um, the last time I cried. The last time I cried, I don't know, but I believe I got frustrated a few times, a couple days, a couple weeks ago, I got frustrated, you know, and, you know, crying helps, you know, help me relieve some of that stress, if it makes sense. All right, next five questions. These are called, have I ever? So, have I ever dated someone twice? Yes, I have dated someone twice, multiple times, called exes. That's why they call exes, for for you not to go back. It's called examples, for you not to go back. But, hey, have you been cheated on? Yes, I remember I got cheated on. They say karma normally gets you. Have I kissed somebody and regretted it? Kissed somebody and regretted it unless I, it was forced and, and so, or unless I wanted Have I lost someone special? Yes, I lost my mama. Have I been depressed? Yes, I just got out of a little depressing phase, I want to call it. A couple weeks ago, I've been depressed free going on a month, if you want to make it like that. It's an on and off. I call it bipolar, free of depression at the moment. And I thank God for that, you know what I'm saying? Because depression is no joke. All right, two favorite colors. My two favorite colors will be red and black, if not red. One favorite people. My three favorite people will be, uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Three favorite people. Okay, um, my brother. It will be all my brothers, actually, but Dre is my number one baby. Um, my nephews. And, uh, God, actually, like, I don't really have no favorites, but other than that, yeah. <laughs> most visit website. My most visit website will be Instagram or, uh, YouTube, if, if to promote myself. If I'm not doing that or posting myself, I'm not, I ain't on nothing but YouTube trying to see how, how everything going, if all my numbers going up, that's about it. What is your alter ego name? That's a good one. My alter ego name will be, you know, Solo. S O L. Personalities do you have? That's a good one. Cause I got about three personalities. If you want to ask me, I believe everybody have, you know, different personalities and different, you know, demeanors. But I, I would say I have three different personalities, or female. I like females. All right. So, this uh, last section is called This Year You. So, this year, I made a new friend. 
Um, no, I didn't make no new friends today. This year, I meant. Um, I, I'm falling out of, out of love. Um, no, because I'm I'm trying to regain myself. So it's just a process right now, and I'm going with the flow. So I'm not. I didn't fall out out of love. I'm still willing to give it another shot if it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? All right. Have I laughed until I cried? Yes, often. I am. It felt so good. You feel me? Because them times you you wanna remember them laughing while you crying type of stuff. Yeah. And who changed you? No, not really. But uh, besides everybody that I come across and I talk to, I want to feel like everybody that comes to me is for a reason. So, yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, people who knew people who don't came in my life, I feel like it's for a reason. So, hmm. yeah, I found out who my true friends are. Yes, especially this year. Especially this year, I felt out who I who was really down for me, and just like who was really there, like throughout all the bad times and all that shit. You feel me? I felt like God showed me, showed me like who really down for me, and who really there at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Who check up on me? Who who ain't that? Who ain't you know? Who ain't just there? You know? To waste my time. They they actually let to be a friend. You feel me? Check up on me. Stuff, little stuff that matters. You feel me? This year, you found out someone was talking about you. I mean, that's every year. You feel me? But it ain't gonna stop me. It is what it is at the end of the day. But yeah, people always ask you. Um, two questions people always ask me is... um. Still to this day, 2020, they always ask me, why am I gay? Why am I lesbian? And basically, a couple of people been asking me my purpose. Like, what's the purpose of, like, everything that I do? So, with that just being said, like, why? Why you do that? Why you do this? Why you do that? I'm just living my life, basically. Like, it's, it feels so good just being able to... Like, do what you want to do, and everybody is, like, with you, and they're not against you because it's you, your own person at the end of the day. Can nobody tell you nothing? They're going to give you uh, they blessing. They're going to tell you it's okay to do, and why not try it, you know what I'm saying, instead of being against it, basically, yeah. How many kids do I want? I always say I wanted two kids, one kid to be possible you feel me so i always wanted a boy and a girl first and then maybe whatever happens happens but i always wanted to adopt kids because you know pets yes i have tons of pets due to the fact that life happens and a lot of them had died uh and ran away over the uh, times but yes i still have um java my big dog first dog i have um benz my new dog I have China, my baby girl, my first one. I have Sagwa, her baby, and that's my princess. And I have Sir, the daddy of everybody. He's a son. And then my baby girls, China and Sagwa, just had babies. Both of them just had two babies each. A week, probably like a couple days apart. So, yes, it's just a new addition to the family. And I'm so ready to, like actually be you know a part you know what i'm saying due to the fact it's my ex who got the babies you know what i'm saying i just want to be able to co-parent with the animals if it makes sense you know what I'm saying? i just want to be able to see stuff grow up because nowadays that's that stuff like that makes life better it makes me feel so much better you know what i'm saying because next question do you want to change your name no, nah, I don't never want to change my name. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? D-A-D-S is what my initial stands for, but, you know what I'm saying? I'm just blessed to have my name, you know what I'm saying? I go by quite a few other names, but that's that, you feel me? But other than that, no, nah, I don't want to change my name. I'm going to keep it, keep it simple. For your birthday, my 24th birthday, 
I didn't really do anything actually. I just chilled and I was um in Arizona. I came to Indiana a couple of days after and I was just chilling with my family, you know what I'm saying? Chilling, smoking. Just and trying to enjoy life. But this time I'm trying to experience more and better things. Like I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Next question. What time did you wake up today? I woke up about I woke up about eight, but really got up around like ten. You know what I'm saying? And I've been out ever since just chilling, you feel me? Uh, you doing at midnight last night? Hot, getting high as a kite, feeling on the booty, rubbing on some. T- no, just chilling, vibing, doing my own little thing, session at night type shit. Name some. Name something I can't wait for. Um, I can't wait for my success. That's about it. I know it's a process, but I just can't wait to like. Oh my gosh, like, I can't wait to be up. I can't wait to, I'm tired of being down. I'm ready to put on people who ready to be put on. I'm ready to put myself on, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to help out a lot of people that need to be helped out. Ah, I got so much motivation and I'm going to do what I got to do to, you know, succeed in life. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to complete them goals. I'm on a mission, baby. That's it. Next question. Um, last time you saw your mother, ah, that hurt. I hate when, I forgot I write stuff like this for, like, other people, but, you know, I end up doing it myself. But the last time I seen my mom was almost four years ago. Yeah, R.I.P., baby. I miss her so much. That was my best friend, y'all. Oh, I love her so much. But um, it's going to be a story time about my mother's um, death. I'll probably do it with, with my brothers or something. Her um, Actually, her death date is around the corner. And, yeah, that's the time I'll be wanting to spend with my family, my brothers and sisters the most, you know, due to the fact that it's, like, so it's still, like, an open womb. It's, like, a couple months ago still, although it's been, like, four years, like, Oh, it's crazy, y'all. It's so crazy. What is one thing you wish you could change about your life? One thing I could change, I wish I could change is um, nothing, really. Like, nothing, honestly. Nothing. Whatever happens, it's supposed to happen. Whatever happens, I, it was supposed to be that way because it's making me who I am today. It's making me the person. It's just making me grind harder. Think smarter, basically. Like, my mistakes were supposed to be my mistakes for a reason. Like, I don't have no regrets still to this day. No regrets, baby, whatsoever. Next question. What are you listening to right now? I'm just listening to myself talk. You know what I'm saying? Nothing major. Listen to my deep thoughts. Next question. Um... Have you ever talked to a person named Tom? Yeah, I really did. My auntie had um, a boyfriend named Tom. R.I.P. Uncle Tom was the truth. He was the only dude I know used to take us to take us to school in the limousine, y'all. That shit was lit as hell. But y'all, this is the last question, the last and final question, and I appreciate y'all. For listening, if you watch this video all the way through, I appreciate you. But let's get to this last and final question. Who was getting on your last... <laughs> Who was the last person that got on your nerve? The last person that always irked me and get on my nerves is fucking Tiff. Ooh, Tiff ass. Tiff always pissing me off. Tiff always getting on my nerves. You feel me? That girl, can she showed sure not a work of nerve. You know what I'm saying? But, other than that, y'all, that's it for this video, you feel me? Thank y'all for watching this video all the way through. I got to put my shoes on so I can go in this Kroger before they start closing this shit down. Due to, because it's coronavirus, it's been closing early. All right. But thank y'all so much for watching this video. 
I really love y'all, and I really appreciate you. You feel me? Uh, get this video to um. <clears throat> Get this video to 50 um, likes. Now do another video like this. I love you. I love y'all. Dukes for well. Nice way or no way. No mouth.